Well, we were uh, talking about the pay-per-view on Saturday night, and the main event was Cody and Brock. And Cody gets pushed into the corner, and he gets suplexed, and he yanks the top turnbuckle off and goes flying into the air into the crowd, which is then, by the way, confiscated by security, which that was a brave guy going into the crowd to take that away from somebody. But anyway, Lesnar then gets sent into the buckle, and uh, he just gets gashed open, and he's bleeding everywhere, and they let it go. They kept wrestling afterwards. Well, they let it go because that was that was a script. Well, yeah, it's uh, unusual for them to let it go. But what happened here? Well, no, no. This, okay, it's it's it's, un, it's it's unusual if it's anyone else, and and you've seen with Finn Balor. I just you saw it at the, WrestleMania. Although that yeah. was a deep, disgusting, see his skull type sixteen stitch gash. Yeah, that was disgusting. Yeah. Well, the 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 well, this was too. But the di- the difference is is that with Finn Balor it was an accident. With this, it was part of the show. Um, you know, Brock Lesnar has different rules than everybody else. And if Brock Lesnar wants color, you know, we've seen it how many times on pay-per-views, you know, probably a half dozen times, maybe more. Um, if Brock Lesnar wants to do color, Brock Lesnar can do color. You know, everybody else might get in trouble for it, but he, he has different rules. Um, it's crazy because if Brock Lesnar insists on getting color, um, they might as well let him blade. I mean, rather than risk a concussion or something dangerous by running his head into the metal buckle as hard as he can to split his head open. And he's done that to the, you know, more than once he's done that into the post, too, you know, and the deal with Randy Orton, you know, which was obviously, you know, one of the dumber things that WWE had ever allowed, you know, like, hey, Randy, you know, like uh, you need to get color in this match with Lesnar. He's just going to, you know, he did with Cena, too, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, he's going to elbow you. He's going to elbow you. But he's good at this. He can elbow you without it hurting you. So Randy got a major concussion out of that, um, but was bleeding all over the place. I mean, and then, you know, the what are you going to say? I mean, it's, I mean, it's fine. Whatever. I mean, it's like. There's safe way, safer ways of getting blood than than running your head into a, a steel into steel as hard as you can. I would say can. that most ways are safer than that. I mean, yeah, you almost any get way. John Moxie in a screwdriver would probably be safer than that dude getting his head like he just boom right at the yeah. buckle. He's all split right here. He shows up on Raw. He's got this all this caked up blood right here and these stitches. Got this huge black eye. Yeah, he cut this promo. This is the scariest Brock Lesnar promo I ever saw in my life. Because not only was he a scary dude cutting this promo, but he had his skull cracked and his eye busted. And, man, I was like, no yeah. wonder Cody had his it's, eyes closed. It's a good, good visual there. But, the, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's just – but there will come a day, probably relatively soon, where they will, you know, call sponsors and, and you know, how can you sponsor this bloody stuff? And there they are, you know, doing the same thing, um, but worse, because I've never seen as I've never seen anyone in AEW um, purposely smash their head into the post to get blood. I mean, usually they do it with a blade, right? That's that's the idea. And when and it's a, not with a blade, it's an accident. Well, accidents happen, yes. and and so, sometimes they're called fortunate accidents because sometimes they make the matches better. But this was not an accident. This was on purpose. And, you know, but again, it's like, you know, I mean, Billy Gunn, if you remember, Billy Gunn, when he was working for WWE, he was a coach and he did a powerlifting meet. And and in the powerlifting meet, he tested positive for steroids and he got fired for that. Brock Lesnar did UFC, um, was an active wrestler. Billy was not an even active wrestler, an active wrestler. He tested positive. It wasn't for steroids, but he failed the drug test. And the response from WWE is the, the drug policy doesn't apply to Brock Lesnar. That's I was amazed they told me that, you know, because I, I asked. And I just go like, uh, you know, Brock just failed a drug test, you know, and he should, in commission states, in theory, he should be suspended from commission states that regulate wrestling because that's the rules, which actually one year they actually had WrestleMania and it really put the, and Brock was in it, and it put the commission in a bind because Brock was suspended. Um, but they had to, you know, pretend that they didn't know or they had to, 
you know, Mickey Mouse things, but it was really an embarrassing thing to the commission because obviously Brock wasn't going to be banned from doing WrestleMania, but he would have been banned from, from doing a fight, even though the commission is supposed to regulate. Your suspensions are supposed to be from all sports, you know, all regulated sports. So, you know, but it's just, you know, whatever. It's uh, it's just, uh, you know, the, like I say, the, rule, the rules for Brock Lesnar are different from everybody else across the board, not just because he can be on any brand at any time. And uh, that's just how it is. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. (laughs) It doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. Big E. Okay. Big E. (laughs) (laughs) For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.